Our Geopolima session was a special event uh, fostered by Professor Nicola Babini himself who asked me to really, with pressure, uh, to participate to this uh, ICC2 and we have done it with pleasure. Uh, I will not uh, repeat what is in the roadmap, uh, you have it in the printed or on CD. I will provide you with some of the conclusions that are important and in fact uh, this is a new area of research which involves chemistry uh, which is uh, new for the majority of you and uh, we have uh, topics that are crucial for the development of this technology with, which uh, can be used in a very wide variety of uh, applications starting from low tech low cost to high tech high cost uh, from the 14 research themes that uh, have to be now pursued, uh, uh, starting from now, I've only selected a few that I will uh, just briefly uh, talk about you. About, For example, uh, we have to continue to demonstrate the polymeric character of geopolymers. We have discovered the geopolymeric miso under the, the electron microscope of 5 nanometers particulates that uh, correspond to uh, well-defined uh, polymers and we can determine the molecular weight and the dimensions and we have to improve uh, the uh, physical tools in order to, to get uh, real data on what we are uh, synthesizing. Uh, number two, we have to redefine and reinvent properly an ancient technology which is uh, the technology of making water glass. Water glass is one of our major ingredients in producing geopolymer and in fact what we have from the industry what we have from in terms of quality controls in terms of homogeneity of uh, materials in terms of structures uh, is no longer adapted to what we require and we have to uh, under, better understand the molecular structure uh, and try to modify and master the manufacture process and invent new systems and new quality control because we need quality control molecular size like you are needing nano we need molecules molecules to be really perfect and we have to know how uh, what type of molecules we are dealing with <coughs> We have seen that the results of the reaction uh, between uh, metacaoline, uh, we get what we call a solid solution. It is a mixture of uh, well-defined geopolymers with different SIAL ratio, and so far uh, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy is unable to separate between the two, or the three, or the four that are constituting this uh, solid solution. Uh, the only way is to heat up the material and to wait until they crystallize and then we get nephilim type framework, calcite type framework, lysitic type framework and so forth so we have to uh, uh, develop and invent a new way of de de detecting these phases uh, more precisely. Uh, we have to continue to uh, our research in including uh, phosphate units into uh, the siloxo, the side siloxo sequences because it provides uh, new uh, properties. Uh, essentially, since it is an alkaline based system, we have to switch to uh, the uh, acidic based system uh, in order to be capable of using our resins for, uh, as matrix for fiberglass, for example. So far, when we are doing composite, uh, which includes geopolymeric matrix, we are only using uh, carbon fibers or silicon fibers and this is with this material that we are producing and making advanced composite material. And then we have to take advantage of the fact that uh, we are sister of silicones, organic mineral geopolymer, and take advantage of this com compatibility uh, the organic silicones are sensitized in two alk 
alkaline based medium or acidic based medium and we will have uh, different ways of uh, manufacturing the hybrids and this open uh, big uh, potential for us. Then uh, we are uh, strongly involved in uh, the use of this geopolymer chemistry in ceramic processing and it is to introduce and develop the low temperature geopolymeric setting. Uh, an example is the production of low cost building materials in developing countries and this, what, this is one of the basic programs for the ceramic and brotherhood in Africa that we are presently discussing. One of uh, uh, the major uh, uh, results we had uh, several posters, but one which is really striking is the following one. Low energy, low CO2 technology for the ceramic industry. If you look at the energy consumed to make a tile with the geopolymer chemistry, you divide the energy by five or six. If you realize the production time with a ceramic tile using geopolymer chemistry to divide this time by 12 or by 6. For low energy, low CO2 technology, for cement and concrete, uh, if uh, one is allowed to emit one ton of CO2, Portland cement will produce one ton of Portland cement, but uh, with the geopolymer cement, we get a reduction of CO2 by 90%. If we look at the uh, energy content, the megajoule per one ton, Portland needs more than 3,000 megajoule, and geopolymer, depending on which type, rock based geopolymer, fly ash based geopolymer, well, we divide by five or by six. And then we can make bricks. Bricks not at 700, not at 800, not at 1000 degrees C, but at 70 degrees C. <coughs> totally different. This is chemistry. It is not the fire ring of the elements. And this is our program for Ceramic Brotherhood, and uh, that will be fostered uh, now. And in fact, uh, one of the biggest discoveries is to take this knowledge and try to understand what happened in the past and happened with archaeology, happened with archaeological ceramics, because we are astonished to see what our ancestors were capable to make. And this one we discovered, we know that we have the oldest ceramic made by mankind. This is the Venice of Don Di Vestonici in the Czech Republic, 25,000 years old. Usually, ceramic have been invented into during the Neolithic, 15,000 years later. But here we have a ceramic. How have they done it? Well, very easy. We have replicated it, dried 80 degrees C, put it in a garden fire in a red earthless atmosphere, 300 and 400 degrees C, and we got our Venice. This is how it has been done provided the chemistry is on place and the chemistry is very easy to achieve with ashes, with uh, clays, uh, with salts that are commonly found in clays and so forth. you find other information in the book, Geopolymer. Thank you very much for your attention.